What's up guys and welcome to Tech Plant. Today I'm going to show you how I made a saltwater ecosphere, well I guess eco cube and you'll see why. Let's check it out. Alright guys so here is the eco cube and I must admit that this is not my idea. I did see this on Cody's lab and he did a really good job with his and I just wanted to try it myself because I knew this would give me an easier opportunity to film what's happening inside. I'll leave a link in the description to his series on this thing just in case you guys are interested. One of the nice things about this one compared to Cody's is his was an actual glass block used in like construction, but this one is just a hobby one that I picked up at Menards, which is like a, a regional hardware store in my area. And this one already has the top pre-opened, which makes it much easier for us to put things inside. In Cody's situation, he actually had to try and drill a hole through the glass, which is quite a bit of work, and the hole is very tiny. I say that now that it's a lot of work to drill, but just wait and watch and see as I struggle to get into this thing and remove this plastic lid. I tried knives, wrenches, needle nose pliers. I even tried dropping in like a rope and pulling it out and just nothing seemed to work. It was honestly like a super big struggle to try and get this plastic thing out of this hole. It was nuts. Finally, I just jammed the needle nose in the crack and just kind of pried until it came up and I didn't really care whether it broke or not, but luckily... It maintained its uh, form and just popped right out. Once you finally finish struggling and you get inside the, the brick, the first thing you're going to want to do is just kind of rinse it out. I'm just going to use some regular water and just really shake it vigorously just to get any dust or any particles that could have gotten in there from manufacturing or just sitting in the store. As you saw in the title, this is going to be a saltwater eco cube. And the problem is I don't live near an ocean. So what I did is I went to the pet store and I just bought a chunk of live rock. I think it costed me like five dollars but i knew i could get some uh salt water and some rocks that would definitely have small creatures living inside of them when they were getting the live rock out of the fish tank i was hoping that they would accidentally net some of these tiny shrimp looking creatures or tiny snails but sadly it doesn't look like any made it into the bag but like all ecospheres a lot of times all the life shows up a few days later once it settles all right, so first I'm just going to pour the water from the bag inside. And remember, this is all from the, the fish store. If you live near an ocean, you could probably do this way cooler by getting some actual ocean water and getting some like substrate, dirt, and rocks just right out of the ocean. Next, I wanted to get the main attraction, which is that big piece of like live rock or coral or whatever that is, and kind of inspect it just to see if I can see anything on it from the beginning. At first glance, I really don't notice much. Again, I don't know much about saltwater creatures or anything so i don't even know what's growing on this thing but i'm just going to put it in the container and we'll see what happens i do see like a lot of different colors so i hope that's a good thing and i hope it means i've got like different mosses or something but i guess we'll see once we let it sit i wanted this cube to look kind of cool to the eye so i placed the main centerpiece in the center and then i just emptied the rest of the contents of the bag out on top of it and then i'm obviously going to arrange things so i like the way it looks Having these really long tweezers was helpful. I mean, it really helps me reach in there and move stuff around. So I definitely recommend anybody doing these kind of things, these kind of projects to pick up like a one foot set of tweezers. They're awesome. Now that everything's settled, I'm just kind of taking a closer look with my camera and seeing if there's any movement. So far, I just see kind of particles floating around, but hopefully things will show up. Well, I'll tell you a secret here. Things do eventually show up and a few actually surprising things. So get pretty excited for that next episode finally i just put a bag over the hole because i definitely don't want to put that plastic thing back in because it'll just get stuck in case i have to adjust or do anything else just because i'm feeling generous today here's a sneak peek of what we're going to find and discover in the next episode all right guys that pretty much wraps up how to make this saltwater eco cube um, i got this idea from cody's lab he's actually a pretty big youtuber and he used these those glass cubes that you saw and i just think it's a it's a cool way to make it and it's a lot easier to see inside because in some of my previous videos where I made an ecosphere, it was in a jar and being round, it's difficult to film everything because the plane in which the creatures exist on curve instead of just being on a flat plane. So this is a way cooler way to have these things and to watch what happens inside. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And as always, may your plants grow strong and healthy. See you next time.